Hello again, everybody. I'm Robert Romano, professor for your licensing class here at LIM. Um, this module, we're going to start talking about strategies for licensors. Okay, so what strategies a licensor should put in place when they're about ready to launch a product? All right, so again, this will probably be broken down into two, two various videos, but you know, overall, they're going to talk about the strategies for lic licensors. Okay. There's just from the get, there's no correct way, no step by step method for a licensor to follow. Right? What we're going to talk about in the next two videos is basically a framework that you, as a decision maker for a licensing company, for a licensor, should make. All right? For some of the decisions um, and outline some of the issues you need to be aware of. Okay? So there's no correct way, there's no step by step method that a, a licensor needs to follow when it comes to strategies. But basically, there's an overall framework that we're going to talk about which decisions you need to be aware of and what the issues that you may need to, um, may need to decide upon. Okay, so the first issue is you need to define your property's characteristics. All right, so you're designing your strategy, your licensing strategy. You need to know what your property's characteristics are. This will help immensely with your um your strategy, all right? What does your property stand for, right? What are the brand attributes? Was your brand uh, quality? Is it cheap? Is it, you know, for athletes, all right? Is it for fun? Or is it upscale brand, right? So no, you gotta really understand what your property's characteristics are and what your property stands for. Are you value-driven, or another way to put cheap? Or are you performance-oriented? Um, your Nike, Under Armour, that kind of stuff. All right, so in determining what your property stands for, you need to also understand what your target market is and the size of your target market. That's going to weigh heavily on what your strategy is going to be. You know, who is your, what are your market demographics? Are you shooting for women aged 18 to 30? Are men from age 25 to 45? What is your market demographic? All right, this all plays into your strategy, your licensing strategy the age, gender, economic level of the people who will, who will be purchasing the finalized goods. Okay? You know, and then you may want to narrow it down even further to specific property characteristics. Look at your logo. I mean, is it classy like Gucci or Tesla? Um, your color schemes. Right? What color schemes go well? Personality traits, if you're talking about characters. All right, so all this needs to come into to your um, the first thing is you need to consider when you're doing your license, coming up with your licensing strategy. Okay, you know, then what are the com competitive properties involved? Right, what do you mean by that? What are the licenses target that same demographic? All right, so you got to analyze. When you're coming up with your strategy, you need to analyze what are the companies are out there. What are the companies are licensing products to that target in that target demographic, right? That's all going to play into what um, what your strategy is going to be. How many? What are their characteristics? I mean, is there only one other country, uh, company that licensed to your specific demographic in this product segment? You know, are there 10 or are there 50? I mean, you really need to, to develop that and understand that when coming up with your strategy. And what are their characteristics? What, what sets them apart? You know, what, um, what makes them, what makes people buy those goods? Okay. Creating a licensing strategy should be formulated within the context of your company's overall strategy and, uh, and objectives. All right, your licensing strategy shouldn't be outside the the norm of what your company's overall strategy is. It's right, it's part of the company's overall strategy and objectives. Right, it's like a subsection. So you have your company's overall strategy, and um, within that, you have your licensing strategy. All right, and you also understand what your property's attrib inherent attributes with are are within that company. All right. Creating a licensing strategy, you should include distribution, target products, and timing. All right. You also need to think about media and entertainment extensions and promote the for, kind of promotional support you're going to get. 
All right, so some things you need to think about, issues you need to think about when creating your licensing strategy include, but are not limited to, distribution, how the products are going to get to the people, what your target markets are, the timing of, of the license and when the products are going to get there, what kind of uh, media and uh, entertainment you're going to have to support, and what promotional support you're going to get from the licensee. These are going to be defined by characteristics and geographical distributions. All right, all right, so. All right, so distribution, all right? It's defined by characteristics and geography. All right, your distribution is going to be, your strategy is going to be defined by the characteristics of your product and the, your geographic distributional area. Is it global? Is it national, urban, regional? All right, these are all going to come into what strategy you're going to implement. Right. Products, properties, characteristics, and target audience determine the appropriate product, product care categories to license. All right, so when you're coming up with your licensing strategy, I need to think about demo dis distribution and the products themselves. All right, the products, care properties, characteristics, and target audience. All right, these determine the appropriate product categories to license. All right products in you know, a number of products to license I mean if you have uh, your strategy is you know you, you want to you have um, you know, watches and who's going you, who's going to license you're going to provide a license to so Ralph Lauren going to license to how many license um, how many watch manufacturers right how many um, how many belt manufacturers how many um, shirts all right so you have the brand and you're going to, to decide on the number of products to license from that brand how many licensees you're going to use number of licenses number of products that you want to license and then how many licensees you're going to use all right page 96 of the textbook gives you the typical contents of licensee evaluation forms so you, when you're determining how many licensees you're going to use you want to evaluate them also okay next thing you need to worry about in your your strategy is the timing all right in your licensing strategy you need to worry about timing what is the appropriate time to launch a property okay film licensors so if you own characters in a film you usually want to license out the goods and they want to get to the market at least two to four weeks before the film is opening all right so Star Wars licensed out all those characters for whatever reasons, for cups, shirts, Burger King. All right, they like sent those licenses, made those licensing agreements with the understanding that about two to four weeks before the film's opening, those products will be on the market. All right, you may tease for months before, however, but the products won't hit um, until two or four weeks before. All right. For TV, let's say you have characters on TV. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of a good character on TV. Um, Dora the Explorer, whatever. I'm just trying to make stuff up. All right. You don't do that. You don't launch those products until after the series is established. Okay. Whereas in film, you do it two to three, four weeks before. TV is different after the series is established then you license out the products all right you also got to take into account season seasonal is a christmas when do those products get to the market halloween easter you're usually going to be about six weeks out okay so six weeks out before christmas and um you're good to go all right timing when to launch when to expand and when to cut back all right, these are important strategies you as the licensor are going to need to understand. When to launch, when to expand. Well, now you're, you're out there. When do we get bigger? How many more licenses do we, do we provide? How many more um, licensees do we use? And when do we cut back? All right, none of this is an exact science. All right, it's very difficult, but that's going to separate you from everybody else. All right, so understanding this. Thinking about it and dissecting it will separate you from everybody else. All right. 
your goal the entire time is to balance the demand and supply throughout the life of the property all right you want to make sure that there's there's a supply out there to meet that demand or right? when the uh, so demand is high you want to make sure that the supply is there when it starts waning off you start cutting back on the supply all right so it's like a bell curve supply goes up demand goes up supply goes up and forward okay another thing you need to think about um, in your in your licensing strategy for licensors is median vehicle me, me, median entertainment vehicles all right if a property is going to be around for a long time must maintain awareness in customers minds all right so if you think your property is going to be around for a long time um, Gucci is going to be around for a long time you must continue to maintain awareness in your customers customers mind you can do this through media and entertainment vehicles all right you can use media and entertainment to help all right so you can always change up um, you can use books you can use comic strips films sequels sequels to films DVDs TV series these can all help continue the life of your license right continue keeping that in the minds of people all right? so um, you also use modern day use internet, all right, mobile apps, social networking, all to keep the life of your product there. Right? So if you're thinking about using media and entertainment as a vehicle, it's great. It's another platform to get your product out there, to get the name out there, to get the brand out there. All right. Using media and entertainment can help retain your existing company customers, by also, but also enlarge your audience at the same time, right? Because you're getting out there, your brand's out there. You're using a book, a movie to continue expanding your brand. All right, you also need to think about, from a licensed source perspective on your strategy, is what kind of promotional support you're going to be receiving, right? Promotions prolong the life of a property, no doubt. All right. Some promotional activity is towards the core brand. Some should be directed specifically towards the licensed product. All right, so you want to work with your licensees to pro to get promotional support. Promotional support is going to prolong the life of your properties. And some of that promotional support needs to be towards the core brand totally and then towards that specific licensed product. Okay. All right, and it's also part of your strategy needs to be no matter how many media events, how many how many promotions, how many licensed license goods you have out there. Licensed goods will not perform well over time if they not if they remain the same year after year. You need to freshen your design. You need to update your design. You need to keep it creative. You need to keep it keep it trendy, edgy. All right, even if you change change it a little bit, you need to keep it moving. If it's stagnant. It'll 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 start to fail. All right, add new products to the marketing mix, apparel, then accessories. All right, you license you know, your name to an apparel company, then license that that name to an accessories. As long as those accessories go with the apparel, add new designs, change change your designs from season to season. All right, always keep it fresh, always keep it out there, always keep something new. Um, last thing I want to talk to you about is co-branding and co-licensing. All right, co-branding. Is linking two properties or brands having having um, typically a licensor and licensee co-branding two properties on a single item, with both having equal billing. All right, so co-branding is taking two properties or brands on a single item, and each of them having equal billing. All right, An example of this is Darth Vader and Mr. Potato Head coming together and creating Darth Tater. Right, one license is the uh, for Darth Vader one is for Mr. Potato Head right you have these two properties these two brands coming together all right on a single item both having equal building Darth Vader all right and Mr. Potato Head coming together and creating Darth Tater two brands two properties coming together both of them having equal branding all right equal building Cross-licensing is a combining properties from more than one licensor on a single item, okay? Co-licensing is combining properties from one or more than one licensor on a single item, all right? So we have two licensors, MLB, 
Major League Baseball, Nicktoons, the kids coming together and creating a video game, a third company creating 2K Play. Okay? It's a baseball game with cartoon characters on it. All right, so this kind of works. Taking Major League Baseball, their logos, their trademarks, all that stuff, the Looney Tunes characters, and making a video game which is appealable to younger kids. All right? All right, that's all I want to talk to you about now. Please um, put something in the Dropbox. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, what am I drinking? I am drinking Canada Dry. All right, so just answer the question, Canada Dry, and we're good. Thank you.